Indiana Jones and the Lost Treasure of Sheba, written by Rose Estes and read for you by Daniel Estes. Adventurers, welcome back. In our previous episode, Indiana Jones and George had just found Professor Valentine, George's father, and the Lost Treasure of Sheba. Now, they must decide what to do next. They have two options. Either follow the pilgrims and hope to avoid being noticed by the soldiers, or take the side path that George has just discovered. As their safety in numbers, let's follow the pilgrims and see if they can lead us to freedom. As we neared the end of the tunnel, Joan slipped up behind the last pilgrim and grabbed him. He gave a tiny squawk and collapsed in a dead faint. <laughs> Probably figured the devil's got him, chuckled Jones. Working quickly, we stripped the pilgrim of his robes and gave them to my dad. Then we hurried after the others. Pull your robes over your faces, Jones whispered as we re-entered the church. And, imitating the others, we bowed and nodded our way to the door. I'll never be sure of what went wrong, but suddenly two guards jumped to their feet and drew their pistols. Stop! They yelled in Italian. We burst through the door, scattering pilgrims like leaves in the wind, and ran into the thick of the crowd. Suddenly, Jones pulled out a handful of jewels and flung them up in the air. The sun danced off the facets as they fell to the crowd like brilliant rain. The crowd surged in around us, shouting and scrambling for the gems. The two guards struggled to reach us, but the excited throng would not let them pass, and we slipped away like ghosts in the fog. The trip back to the coast is something of a blur. I think half the population of Ethiopia was looking for us, but somehow we escaped. As the powerful trimotor climbed into the sky over Africa, Joan said, Roger, I think we've made a great discovery. When this war is over, why don't the three of us come back and do this right? My father smiled and placed his hand on top of Jones's. Grinning like a fool, I placed my hand on top of theirs. The end.